Since last week was all about the past year we had, it only seems fair to dedicate this next segment to the future. This is the year ahead. The U.S. Treasury will hold a discussion next week between regulators, government officials, and banking executives to study financial access for money services businesses, or MSBs, and hear the concerns of the MSB community. The Chamber of Digital Commerce is preparing information for the board through a survey that deals with problems faced by digital currency enthusiasts and businesses looking to open accounts. They're also looking to further implement laws pertaining to digital currency fraud and money laundering. As CDC President Perry on Boring states, 2015 will be a very active year for Bitcoin. There will be additional rulemakings out of the regulatory agencies, including the Consumer Financial Protecting Bureau, Commodities Future Trading Commission, Security and Exchange Commission, Internal Revenue Service, and the Treasury's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Some will be positive, some will create burdensome and onerous requirements, and some will create a conflict of law between others. Basically, regulation and Bitcoin policy will be a mixed bag, and thus far, boring seems right. While the U.S. Treasury and the CDC are working towards regulation, the Bitcoin Foundation is apparently moving in the opposite direction. The Foundation's Global Policy Council, Jim Harper, has been dismissed from his position following its March 2014 hiring, which many felt was a sign that the organization was taking Bitcoin regulations seriously. But the association is apparently changing its goals to focus less on policy and more on technology and infrastructure development. When asked about the decision, Harper replied he wasn't ready to fully cut ties with the organization and will be running for a position on the foundation's board. After last At Money year, Tech, we the price of Bitcoin is larger story on what's going on in the finance and technology sector. Most of the year, year every single stand is free or not. A few weeks ago, Tura and Iraq Silk Road became the global leader. It is currently struggling to finish the year. We're proud of the growth of the company, but given all the hard work and concerns about going to the moon, the deflationary story was tainted. But it showed for the rich at heart that the wealthy people know about it.